Hi, and welcome to your weekly readings. But before we start, let me tell you there will be a contest going on. This is as a token of my appreciation to everybody who is supporting this channel, who subscribed and who liked, and anybody who will be subscribing and liking during this week. So all you need to do is, if you are not subscribed already, subscribe and like. And for those who already subscribed, you will also need to just leave your comment in the comment box. So these people will enter the draw automatically for a free reading. The draw is going to be on the 14th of February. And what you're getting is a 10-card reading Celtic Cross with clarifiers. It's a full reading on one issue. And uh, it is $75 American value. So take advantage of it again. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please become one because then you're going to see all these new videos coming in your box. If you already are, uh, then you just have to leave a note. So new subscribers, subscribe, like, and leave a note. All subscribers just leave a note that you want to become a part of the contest. So thank you very much, and good luck to everybody. Hi, Aquarius, and welcome to your weekly horoscope. This is going to be from the February 1st to February 8th. Okay. Where is February 1st, February 8th. And the bottom card. Let's see, how do I position that you see them all? Okay, so the bottom card is your energy for a week. Ace of Sky is like really powerful beginning. I really love Aces. These are one of my favorite cards aside from Major Arcana because they are not so turbulent like the cards that come in Major Arcana but they're still the gateway from major arcana to minor arcana. Uh, swords are basically, in my opinion, the highest uh, basically suit. It is basically something that has to be uh, connected to nobility in the past. And Ace of Sky, or the very, very first sword in the suit, basically denotes beginning. It denotes basically start of something new and start of like some kind of idea. So something is forming in your head that you are just right now in the complete contemplation phase. So just think back to magician. Magician has all the tools. One of them is a sword. But magician is still not acting on it. Now there is high priestess. High priestess add the intuition to the mix since it's only on the emperor stage that we are starting to see some action. Very much like here. This is the potential that you are willing to explore. And I think you are very interested in whatever the idea is coming your way. This also can mean truth there are some truths that need to be told. So the truth can be truth that you're going to tell someone else, truth that will be told to you. In any case, it's going to be some kind of clearing of the air. Why swords were connected to novelty is because they had the power to, the words were heard, and basically they had to be listened, and it was very drastic and very fast. So this is something that is rushing to you. So if this is the uh, underline of everything, that's kind of like really uh, interesting because I also love what they see over here. And what they see over here is two of fire, the hermit, and sky tom. So basically you have another air over here, or sky, and you have fire and you have hermit. So it kind of like goes back to this idea. Two of fire means uh, kind of funny, you're going from 1 to 2 to 9. So it looks like to me that you're thinking about some kind of project. Did this just go unfocused? Whoa, just give me a sec. Sorry about this, Aquarius. Maybe I was just too excited and I was like shaking the, the table. Oh, by the way, also, I did get some 
uh, hate mail from Aquarians, actually about five of them, that uh, you didn't like the reading, that you think that I hate Aquarians. Well, let me tell you, this cannot be further from the truth. Actually, not only is my sign an Aquarius, but also have Venus in Aquarius. So, trust me, I don't want bad things for myself. I'm a very positive person, and I'm trying to keep my energy up. So, sometimes bad things happen, and we as Aquarians really know that really, really well. And the ability that we have is this thinking, and you have this thinking right now here in your reading. And this thinking is... Uh, absolutely powerful that we have. The problem with our thinking is that we think way too much. Is that right? And sometimes we overthink things and let's say there is the beginning, there is the end, but we'll go all the way there and sometimes imagine things that basically didn't happen, might happen, will happen in the future, sort of like our timeline is like much bigger than the timeline of the other people. So sort of that's why they say we see 50 years in advance. And sometimes I really, really, really regret it. I don't know about you guys. So let's go back to this. What I basically really like about it is that the base is this kind of like uh, powerful new beginning. But then like two of fire is, is moving into, into the stage where, you know, you see this kitty in the warmth of the home right there is the home and there is this wilderness so check this out the kitty is trying to decide where to go isn't this like so fantastic oh my gosh it's like so nice and warm and cozy but the life is over there so the world is over there but this is my world and this is other world so I think the decision and idea that you're contemplating and this means you might be deciding between the two things and you might be adding intuition. Maybe you did some research. If this is a dating situation, then you are really this time around going about it differently. You are not just jumping and experiencing people as we usually do Aquariuses. What we basically uh, here are saying is, you know what, I want to see what you can offer to me because I know what I have and what I'm bringing over here. So, also, I don't know if you had previous readings, but sometimes we do have visitors, and uh, there it is. This is, uh, this is the inspiration for the name. Her name is Sapphire, and I have to tell you, this actually brings enormous luck. And she is also Aquarius. She was born February the 6th. Okay, more, Shafi? Yay! Let's go. you are interfering, but thank you for the visit. Yes. And she talks a lot, as you can tell. Sometimes it's just way too much, especially when you sleep. So let's go to Hermit. So let's go back to this for a second. What basically here uh, this card is saying is that you will be taking this whole groundwork that is a base a little bit further. And you are going to be comparing the options. There could be two, that could be more. And this could be lovers. So there is a passion over here. And it doesn't have to be. Passion can be for work. Passion can be for love. So whatever this applies to you at this stage, you are not just jumping in this time around. Even though fire sign is also very fast, but it's not as fast as source. So you have three extremely fast moving, basically, uh, options over here. And this is really, really good to see. Now we are coming to Hermit, which again goes back. Uh, I have to start thinking that this is happening again because of these two cards. Uh, that You're contemplating something and something is holding you back. You maybe had something happening in the past where maybe you would quickly move to action, you would quickly get some things happening, but somehow it didn't really end well for you. And this time you are kind of really, really thinking what can be the best possible solution for you this time. What can uh, you benefit and how can you really, really go about it. So Hermit is a good thing, but please do not stay there like too solitary. Also, because I'm not reading these cards upside down and I did get messages as well asking me to do that. So I might do it just to tell you maybe where the dangers could be uh, hiding and lurking. 
But like in this case, I'm just trying to encompass everything because what is happening with tarot, I'm reading here entirely a huge group of people, one twelfth of population. So as you can imagine, there are lots of energies flying around. People come from different backgrounds and people are going to have different kind of like uh, feelings toward everything. And of course, for your personal readings, you don't have any of that. So wh when I basically say here, you know, like you, you kind of like are going to go in a cocoon, this could have been this, that maybe you stayed in cocoon too long. It's time to get out of it. And frankly, given, given the rest of the reading, uh, it would make more sense to me that this card is actually applicable this way. So why? Because everything else is so fast moving. It looks like that maybe this card did come as sort of something you brought in into this week. You brought in something contemplation because I think the last week, let me check, what did you have last week? Last week you had, yep, seven of C, ten of C, and strength, and four of fire as a base. So last week the whole kind of thing was strength. You were strong enough and you were probably looking deep inside of yourself. Many Aquarians had really, really bad uh, January and December. Well, maybe I wouldn't say bad. It's just like really hard for us Aquarians to think, uh, to, to experience emotions. So we try to rationalize them and try to think through them. And this is what was happening. And when that happens, it takes a long, long time. Sophie? Yeah. Yes, it's a good reading. Do you like Aquarians? Yeah. A lot? Do you like us a lot? Yeah. Thank you. Can you go down now, please? Go down. Go down. Come in. Please. Please. I'm so sorry about it. There's somebody who likes the reading. And she obviously doesn't have a problem coming out to her cocoon. So, basically, that's why I'm thinking this. You probably did this thinking because this last two months, it was lots of going inside. It was like just reevaluating why this happened, what happened. Um, sometimes it was not even a cause, just simply looking into this, what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses, what can I accomplish from here, how do I get forward, sort of like we are actually paving the way toward becoming a better person, and it's a really, really good news. So maybe this is just a leftover uh, of things that happen, of things that basically uh, are going to come because the, la the last three, the other three cards are so fast moving. Uh, Sky Tom are messages, so you're going to start reaching out while you're trying to capture it. Um, these are again truths to be told. So we are going to the higher octane. It will be 11, 1, 11, and so the higher octane page of Sky or Sky Tom could be kind of rough communication. You or we might not, as Aquarians, completely refine how we communicate to people. And we just like really want to get, uh, get somewhere quickly. He's like, I'm here, I want to get here, I want to go this way. Well, this here, here, I want to go this way. This is not how it really works with most people. They don't have thick skin like we Aquarians do, where you can tell us anything and we are going to process it, think about it, spit out what we want decide right or wrong and go with that. No, most people just like need this pampering. You really need to give them a first big hug before you deliver it. So basically this is saying, oh, he is going straight for the bird. Well, you are obviously with some projects here, want to get to this bird, but sort of like you have to be a little bit more, let's say clever. I don't like the word clever because it indicates some kind of deceptiveness. Let's say diplomatic. So this is saying that you might be blunt and you know, Sometimes this is good, but just like be very careful. And I would like to warn you that maybe it's time, like as a part of these decisions, to also see how you go about your basically communication with people, because this is communication. Something will be communicated, either this idea or not these ideas. So let's check your runes for a month. Yes, sorry about it. Like she was never like I mean this uh, interested in any kind of readings, and like now from the entire basically house, she just has to be on the table. So 
There you go. Okay, so Aquarius, 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 Greens for the week of first eight. Okay, you got you did get Wunya, which is the rune of happy endings. Let me just see what you got last week. Ooh, I didn't write it down. Okay, so this is in. Uh, oh, that's not Wunya. Sorry. That's not Wunya. Come on, this is actually Teresa's. This is the rune of boundaries, and it's the upside down. Sorry, my bad. Ha! Huh. I didn't see this, this little thing from this, this angle. This is like so prophetic with this reading. Now, check it out. This is basically the rune of boundaries. Like, wouldn't that be like what we were talking over here? This is why I cast the rune with this weekly, because weekly is always part of the monthly readings, and I might actually do more runes for the monthly readings in the future. So your comments, what you want to see in your monthly reading when you're leaving your comments for the contest, would really be uh, appreciated, because I really want to do the readings that you guys enjoy, and you know I know how I do readings for my clients because I'm actually a life coach and what I basically do is like I guide people toward goals sometimes they want to use tarot cards and sort of that gives me the insight to things that even they don't know and sort of like I, I'm managing to read that and that helps me a lot with clients who are able or willing to open themselves to it so you see here, let's say if I didn't have the cards, what I would actually be able to understand here, this is like, you know where and when you must stop. The, con like, the concept over here, this, this r rune is symbolic uh, of a thorn, right? Uh, it's kind of like sharp defense. So by extension, this rune is associated with anything that pierces. So guess what? This is piercing and this is piercing, right? So it's almost like a blade and guess what has a blade? Sword has a blade. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of like a serpent's fang or, you know, something like that. So this kind of like word in the, uh, this is kind of like fun fact, just to teach you something. Uh, Teresa's, basically the word Thursday, survives today from this kind of like rune. So there you go. So the runes were not that like, I mean, uh, neglected over the, over the history. So uh, basically this is the name of the great Norse thunder god. So Thursday, the thunder. So now you're going to remember. In turn, the Thor was a physical giant. He was considered to be archetypal um, giant slayer. So... Teresa is described in the rune poems as giant's rune. So, boundaries, right? Giant boundaries. You're getting where I'm going with this? So, this is inverted. So, this means that danger is always present when this kind of appears in the reading this way. But this is kind of powerfully emphasized when the rune is in inverted position. The danger is likely to be greater, more obvious enemies seem a little bit more malicious, you know, and determined, and the risk of loss is more pressing. It may be um, that your own actions are to blame for the situation, so again, uh, I cannot warn you enough, this came in your reading, now you have ability to change it. So, new beginnings are great, but be aware how you communicate with people. Be really, really aware of your words and of your body language. And so basically, uh, the danger is really, 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 really present over here. So you won't be able to blame anybody for the situation but yourself. So for this situation, any rush decision contributing is contributing to your peril. So you are rushing everything, and probably now I know why this hermit came over here. The rush decision that you come up with, you have to think through them. This is why it's here. So it is not left over for the last week as initially thought. This means think through this decision. So maybe this time we shouldn't be this fast because Aquarians are actually part of the Sky Clan. And so we have to stop immediately and assess our situation and only then proceed and proceed very, very cautiously. So 
This is your reading for the week, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to join the contest. And I hope I'm going to get your comments and inputs into how uh, to read better. Uh, I try to improve the voice and everything. Also, apropos your reading, to basically wrap it up, act, think, and then act, I would say, is the moral of this story for this week. So, also, please check that I do have a love meditation and attract love. So, maybe that's a good thing to start with. It's about 30 minutes a day which basically fine-tunes you to a different vibration and it's probably going to fine-tune your communication skills. So this much for this week Aquarius and I will talk to you very soon next week.